Hello everyone. My name is Martin Wong, and I'm a photographer. Today, we are going to talk about why it is so important to fall in love with photography. And for some seasoned photographers like me, it's about how to fall in love with photography again. Like many professional photographers, I didn't start out being a professional photographer, especially when I first pick up a camera. For me, there wasn't even a concept about making money from photography at all. I just enjoy taking photos. It was fun. It was really satisfying to create, you know, amazing images with my camera. Or, you know, I even spent hours editing those photos, trying to refine them to make them better and more appealing to me. But at a certain point, it became work. It became a race to get the most likes on social media, and that's the same case for, you know, camera companies. They start having that race to make the best, best camera out there with more megapixels, with faster processor, and even your smartphone these days, the one that's in your pockets, can produce amazing photos with little to no accessories. It's a lot easy to do. It's a lot. It's faster. It's easier, especially now with AI tools. It just makes this process is significantly accessible for everyone, and boring. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the advancement of photography and camera, especially now that many people can join in on the fun. But for me, it has become, you know, mundane and repetitive. It's just not as fun as it used to be. I don't get the same excitement as I did in my first year of photography. It's kind of like how Madonna is now. Like it used to be really fun. It looks fun. It was playful. But now it's just kind of like a sad corporate office with automation. But I know I love photography, and I know lots of people out there also still love photography. So what do we do about it? Well, I think the past is now the future. What I mean that by that is that a lot of camera companies are now creating retro-looking cameras with modern technology. For example, the Fujifilm X100V is a modern camera that has a classic camera look to it. And it was so popular on TikTok; it was out of stock for a long time. People just keep buying it. And that same goes for the Nikon ZF that I got. It's a 24.5 megapixel, a full-frame digital camera, but it has a timeless design that is similar to the FM2. Uh, it's the same one that actually my father used. It's this one right here. This guy. I made an unboxing video for the Nikon ZF, but you know, you wanna go check it out? Take a look. Now, both of this camera don't have the highest megapixel. It doesn't have the fastest processor, and it's definitely not the sharpest cameras out there. The Nikon ZF even has a dial or multiple dials on the top that most modern cameras don't have because you can do all those within the camera software now. It, you know, in the software you have more flexibility, more function. You just don't need those dial. But guess what? I love shooting with this camera for everyday life, much more so than my professional flagship cameras. Not only do I feel like I'm shooting with film camera again, but it helps start conversation with people and friends, seeing that I'm carrying that camera. Even stranger will come up to me and ask me about my camera. It become a very easy way to you know find people who are actually interested in photography and dive more deeper into a photography topic. You know, talk about gear, talk about you know the style and the love for it. And I think that is what it should be when you're enjoying photography as a hobby. It's not just about you know taking aesthetic photos. The look of the camera actually matters as well. And I'm glad camera companies are you know paying attention to that. And most importantly, the feeling and enthusiasm of taking photos is what made me want to take even more photos. Another reason these retro cameras are so popular right now. Is that not only they look like older film cameras, but they also have effect to make photos and video looks like they were created with film. Fuji has something called Recipe, and Nikon has something I think called、uh, Picture Control. I'm not sure what other brands ones called, but I'm sure they have the names for the effect too. A lot of this film characteristic and style were not the intended effect when they first made it back in the day. In fact, they were actually imperfections. 
especially light leaks or halo effects that make photos kind of look unsharp, no contrast to it. But ironically, people are in love with those styles, even more so now than ever. Maybe because it reminded them of a similar time? On my Nikon ZF camera, I use an effect called Dream, and it digitally creates this dreamlike effect for my photos. Uh, it's very low contrast, it has a tint of pink and a little bit of orange to the photos. Recently, I picked up some filters from Ken Faith or AKA KNF Concept. They're a camera accessory company that sell a variety of things, but they're also known for their filters. So I got those two filters, their magnetic black mist filter, one at one fourth and one at one eighth. The magnetic feature makes it super easy to install. You just snap it on and it takes less than a second. Uh, they're super slim as well. So if I really wanted to, I can actually put both of them on the camera by just magnetically stacking them. The black mist filter softens skin, uh, so you know the wrinkles and pores all soften, but it also creates this hazy film-like effect straight off the camera. You know what? Let me just show you what it means. Hope you enjoyed those photos and videos. I had a great time shooting with Bridget. Uh, also, big shout to her for coming out and shooting with me with just you know, an hour notice. Thank you so much. You know, I hope you can find joy in photography as well, especially you know with a retro-looking camera. It's not about taking the sharpest photos. It's not about having the fastest uh, processor. You know, it's the same thing where like people are not looking for the best performance in a car, but actually enjoying driving. You know, or like people who enjoy making coffee, the process of making coffee. You know, even though there's like instant coffee packets out there, you just, you know, but people like to spend time. You know, I know friends that spend like half an hour to an hour to get a crazy coffee machine just to make coffee they enjoy. So regardless of your hobby, whatever it is, find that feeling that made you fall in love with it in the first place. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.